my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Diana, you can call me D. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat. Um, I'll probably insert some pictures or something in this video so you guys can pause it and screenshot and add me. I love having you guys on my Instagram, my Snapchat. I love interacting with you guys and knowing what you guys are up to. So today I'm going to be going over my skincare, I guess updated skincare routine because I had like an older video about my skincare and that type of stuff because a lot of people wanted to know how I keep my skin very glowy and like very little blemishes. Um, I just want to throw out there that I don't have acne prone skin. Um, I never really have but I do like if I don't wash my face or like don't take my makeup off I will break out. But yeah if you're interested then keep on watching. I know that a lot of um, People get acne and it's completely normal, like not everyone is blessed with beautiful skin. So I totally get that it can be like embarrassing or just like make you a little bit self-conscious. Um, I would definitely try, I don't know like if you guys have already tried this so I don't want to like say do this and you've already been doing it and it hasn't worked, but maybe change your diet a little bit. I know that drinking a lot of water honestly helps with clearing your skin and detoxifying it from any like bad foods. Um, I would probably stay away from carbs and fats and sugars. So, sorry, my foot is like falling asleep. Um, drinking a lot of water, like I said. Um, I think, I feel like exercising would be good, like it would open up your pores and kind of like, not like cleanse them, but detoxify your body, but um, yeah, acne, where am I going with this? Oh yeah, I think for acne, like you shouldn't exfoliate, I mean for anyone, you shouldn't exfoliate every day, it should only be two or three times a week that you're exfoliating your skin. So what I use to exfoliate my skin is this little... Um, apricot scrub and I have a little baby size because um, where am I going with this oh yeah I went to California last summer and I was like oh I want like a face scrub that I can take on the go and I didn't really have well I had a yes to cucumbers gentle milk cleanser but the lid like it wouldn't close shut so I was like damn it like I need a little baby one and my coworker actually has not really bad acne but she has acne and she said that she loved how this worked and this was only like one of the few products that only helped her skin a lot so this is what I use to exfoliate my skin um, I think the bigger bottles are like three to four dollars and it smells really good it's just a face scrub I love this I think it works really well it clears my skin up and I like using this when um, I like right before my period because I know I'm gonna break out and even if you don't break out you should always ex you should always exfoliate because um, because you have dead skin cells on your face and stuff so you want to make sure that you're scrubbing all that off you should be washing your face um, at least I don't even know honestly I personally just wash my face in the morning with water like with warm water I just rinse it off and then at night is when I usually do like my cleansing I use this um, Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. Also guys, I'm really sorry that this isn't really like drugstore um, nice or drugstore friendly. Um, you can still find these at like Meyer or Target, but this is just what I'm using personally. Um, like I said, the Yes to Cucumbers Gentle Cleanser works amazing. You're going to want a cleanser that doesn't have any, like when you look at the ingredients, anything that ends in acid, you don't want. So um, it's really hard to find something that doesn't end with that. Um, the sal salicylic acid, um, that ingredient, I know that a lot of um, 
face washes or stuff like that have that, that actually causes you to break out more. Um, that's what my dermatologist said. I don't know, so don't take my word for it. If it's working for you, then it's working for you. Everyone has different types of skin, different genes, everything. <laughs> different genes. It literally makes me think of like blue jeans. No, but there's genes, like there's certain genes that like people have that like that's why you have acne and that's why you break out easily and then there's like sensitive skin and people that don't have sensitive skin and oily skin and non oily skin and a combination of both and there's just so much out there so if you have something that's working for you then you should keep doing that but I'm just saying that to some people that salicylic acid can cause you to break out more but that Yes To Gentle Cleanser, like I was saying, doesn't have it, so it's a really nice cleanser for people that have really sensitive skin or have acne prone skin. Um, I don't have it with me because I don't really use it anymore, but like I was saying, this is my cleanser right now. But if you want like a drugstore cleanser, I would definitely recommend that one. Hello? Yeah, this is she. Oh, hey, what's up? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Alright, see you then. Okay, bye. Jeez. Oh my gosh. So, sorry this is kind of like out of nowhere and this is going to be a long video, but um, I literally have not been getting hours like at Dick's or Ulta. Like, I work two days a week and like, I really need more money, so... I'm going to be driving back to Sturgis to work at Meijer the days that I don't work up here. So the drive is definitely going to suck, but I mean, it'll be okay. Like, I'll survive. And I, what I really should do is just move back to Sturgis and work at Meijer because I know that they need my help and that they need, like, they're willing to give me, like, 40 hours a week. But I just don't want to go back to Sturgis. Like, I know that sounds really mean or, like, bitchy, but... I just don't like Sturgis. I don't like the feel. I don't like the vibes. I know that's stupid, but I just don't feel comfortable in Sturgis. Like, everyone just wants to know everything about you, and they're so judgmental. So after I wash my face, I'll dry it, and then I'll apply a moisturizer. So I've been using the Dermalogica Active Moisturizer. Um, I don't really know of any drugstore moisturizers that I like. I'm trying to kind of think, but um, I don't really know. I just know that for the summer, like, you can use sunscreen as, as a moisturizer, and that's really good because it'll protect, like, your face from the sun, and it also works, like, as a good primer or moisturizer. So that's kind of what I used before I got, like, a higher-end moisturizer. Um, I'm also using the Estee Lauder moisturizer. It's like an anti-aging um, moisturizer. All Estee Lauder products smell like amazing. This is just a little sample though, so um, I think it's like $40 or $50. I know not a lot of people want to spend that much on a moisturizer. Um, I was also using like the Murad um, oil-free moisturizer. I know that's a little more expensive as well. But after I wash my face and before applying a moisturizer, um, I use this Dermalogica um, toner. This is a toner for your face. It kind of brightens your skin, um, helps with any redness, and is just a good... It absorbs moisture, so it's good for that. Um, I'm currently out of this, so I'm going to try a different toner. I know some of my friends like the Neutrogena toners, so I would, I'm definitely going to try um, a Neutrogena toner because I love toners. Um, also, I know this isn't really a toner, but I have been using these babies. I love them so much. This is the purple one. It's like the lavender one. It's supposed to brighten your skin and it has like vitamin C or something like that. Maybe not vitamin. Oh yeah, vitamin C. Um, it's a boost of hydration and it leaves the skin balanced and bright. So I really like how lavender smells. So I really love this. Um, I like to use it as a 
primer, as a setting spray. I like to throw it in my purse and just spray my face whenever I feel like I need it. Um, I use it like after my entire skincare. Um, yes, I love this. But I'm out, so I'm currently using the rose water one. This is supposed to help for like help dehydrated skin, and this smells like rose, like like rose water. It smells really good. Um, like I said, um, I'm using the small little travel size ones because they're five dollars, and I want to try all three of them to see which one I like the most. Um, but yeah, another thing that I'm using is this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, um, what is this, I guess they're like drops, and I really, really love these, but they're super expensive. We got this as a gift from work, so I use this before like I apply my makeup, kind of like a primer, and then I use it at night. So this is really expensive, I think it's like 60 or $70 for this, so um, I wouldn't really spend that much on it. I mean, like, when I run out of this, I'm not going to buy it unless I really have the money to, but it does work amazingly. Like, my skin has looked really bright and, like, just, I don't know, just so glowy. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I use for my skincare. Like I said, I use all that at night, and then to remove my makeup, I use these... Um, Equate Beauty Nighttime Soothing Wipes. I usually use the Neutrogena ones, like I know a lot of people love those, but sometimes when I have eyeliner on and I use it around my eyes, it really burns. So I don't really like them, but um, I've come to realize that with the Equate ones, this is like a Walmart brand, um, it doesn't really burn around my eyes. It's like, sometimes it can, like if you're putting the towel, like the wipe really close to your eye, it burns a little, but doesn't burn as much as the Neutrogena ones. So that's what I use. And then sometimes, like around my period and stuff, I get little tiny, like, pimples. And when I pop them, it's just like pus or like liquid. I don't know if anyone out there has this problem, but um, I like to use this Freeman Clay Mask Cleanser. This is supposed to deep clean your pores and absorb any oil, so I know sometimes I have like really oily, like I have an oily nose, like the T-zone area or whatever. Um, I really like using this, it cleans out my pores and whenever I just feel like relaxing and having like a night to myself, I'll use this mask. Um, I really love it. It helps with my oily nose and with my clogged pores. But, um, yeah, I think that's it. That's all that I really use for, um, my skincare routine. If you guys have any questions, you can always comment down below. I will try to help you, like, in whatever way that I can. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.